How's it going guys? This is Forensic Forex with Deontay and I'm back with another video. Welcome to a new month. Welcome to June. You guys voted in EU1, so we're going to be tracking EU for the rest of the month. Now, if you've been following me for a while, I come to the first official trading day of the month and I count back 20 days or 20 bars, 40 bars, 60 bars. So I'm looking back 60 days and I'm breaking it into three quadrants of 20 day periods. This is generally going to give me where my higher time frame liquidity pools are or my open float is or significant price points where the market is going to give a reaction around. After that, I find the highest high and lowest low in each one of those quadrants. So that's the 20 day high. That's the 20 day low. That's the 40 day high. That's the 40 day low. That's the 60 day high. And last, that's the 60 day low here. We can see that I have the opening price marked off. And the reason I mark off the opening price for the month is because that gives me my overbought or oversold conditions without any indicators. This is where price is going to give a significant reaction around or sponsorship is going to come into the marketplace. The market makers are most likely going to buy below the opening price and they're most likely going to sell above the opening price. Generally, if they have the diction to move price higher, they're most likely going to move price below the opening price and then push price higher. Same thing, vice versa. If they have the stance to take price lower, they're going to move price above the opening price and then go lower. That's what I generally like to see. We're going from overbought, taking out buy side, and then running back down to sell side, going back into oversold. Same thing, vice versa. We're going down into sell side liquidity, going into a oversold condition, and then going back into premium, going back into being overbought. Now, Simple macros that I like to use is the seasonal charts. Now, I tell people all the time, seasonal tendencies do not mean they're going to follow suit picture perfect. Now, for June, we could see it rallies up and it comes down. So I'm suspecting that price most likely is going to give a buying opportunity earlier in the month of June and then potentially give us a sell off. Now, that doesn't mean it has to follow that to the T. It could completely continue being bullish for the rest of the month instead of falling down and giving that fade down that we see here. Or it could completely not do that. It could drop immediately and sell off or it could be consolidating for the rest of the month of June. So you can see for June, it's going up and then going down. Now, since we're tracking EU, we also have to look at the dollar index because it's inversely correlated. So look at the dollar index briefly. We can see it's going down, then it's going up. So this is a good idea. We can see that the seasonal charts themselves are moving inverse to each other. So this may be a very good month to trade. I can see that it goes down to start with and then goes up completely opposite to what we see here for Euro. Goes up, goes down, goes down, goes up. So that's a good idea, generally what I like to see. Now going back to the chart, I'm going to most likely mark off some swing highs or swing lows the market is most likely going to target. So you can see recently in price action, we can see price broke this swing high. Now, when price breaks a swing high formation, that puts me on alert for potential bullish momentum coming into play. Now, for price to continue going higher and me to be confident that it's going to go higher because it created a higher time frame market shift here, right? Price is coming up and taking out a swing high formation. That's significant in price. This could be either two things, a false break or this is signs that the market makers want to push price higher. The fact that they broke a swing high or a key high. Now, in order for me to feel confident for price to go higher, I want to see a higher swing low form. This is a swing low formation. One, two, three. And this swing low happened to be the 20 day look back low as well. I want to see this same formation like this one, two, three appear higher than that. So I would like to see maybe the next daily candle open and run up like that without taking out this low. So you can see we have a purge on the previous daily low. So Monday purge Friday's low. And I'd like to see tomorrow, Tuesday, revert back to the previous daily high and continue trending higher. Now, if price is going to continue trending higher, what are we going to see? Price target swing high formations. So do we have any swing high formations in previous data? We do. We have a swing high here. We have a swing high here. We also have one up here and then we also have the 20 day look back high as well. Now, does that mean price is going to get all the way back up here for the rest of the month? I have no idea. Is it possible? Yes. If price were not to go up, is it going to target what? Sell sides so is going to target swing lows. So it would target this and then 
eventually it would get back down to the 60 day low if it's going to sell. But if I have speculations that the price action is going to be bullish at the beginning of the month and it's showing signs of going higher because you broke a swing high, that's the start of it, price breaking a swing high, I want to see a higher swing low formation form. So I want to see Tuesday take out Monday's high and potentially Monday being the low of the week and price continue to rally up, causing higher swing lows and higher swing highs, which is generally a bullish trend. Vice versa, if we were to look at the DXY, so look at the DXY briefly. I do the same thing. I start from the first of the month. I count back 20, 40, 60 days. I find the highest high and lowest low in each one of those quadrants. And as you can see recently, price broke a swing low. And you can see here I have a question mark, false break. I put that as a question mark because I'm not sure if price broke this meaning and taking the sense that it wants to go lower because the fact that price broke a swing low is a bearish shift there's a momentum coming into play right short-term momentum is coming into play because a swing low or a key low this low here has been broken now in order for price to continue to go lower or for me to have the confidence to go in short for like let's say ucad U Swissy, or uj or even dxy i want to see a lower swing high formation form so i want to see this occur. I want to see price open and come down, creating a lower swing high. We can see here this 20 day look back period high is the swing high as well. So this could potentially be the lower swing high formation. If I see that, that signs that the market is breaking down and every short term rally is the market makers buy selling into it. So when price comes up and makes a short term high, they're selling. It's not that they're buying. They're pulling price back up to lower the retail traders on the wrong side and to sell lower. We have the opening price for June. So we can see that here. We'll highlight it a little brighter for you guys to see. So that's the opening price for June. So anything above is a premium. Anything below is a discount. As you can see, you get that sensitive reaction today or Monday. See how price went above it and then sold off because that's where most likely high probability sell scenarios are going to occur. It's overbrought. It's in a premium for the monthly range here. Now, if price is going to continue and follow seasonal tendencies of dropping down at the beginning of June, we would like to see price target swing lows. So you can see here, I have the price points labeled out here. These are swing lows that could potentially be the draw on liquidity. So price could be drawing to this low here and this low here. And around that low as well, we have the 40 day look back period high. This is a sensitive price point. So price could draw back down into a old high. Even though the high is already broken, price can still draw back down into this old look back high here. And there could also be a reaction of a buying opportunity off of that high. So if price were to come down here, you could see a small scalp opportunity or reaction back higher. So that's how I like to generally use the IPTA levels doesn't mean I have to use them as a basic buy side liquidity or sell side liquidity. It could be used as old high, old low. There may be a reaction or a setup here during one of the kill zones. Now, moving forward, if we were to look at the DXY from a monthly perspective, we can see here on the monthly, we have a huge inefficiency here. We have a SIBI, a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. So there's an inefficiency in covering the buy side. There's a gap in price here. We also made a swing high formation here and we have a higher swing high formation here. So this swing high is lower. So that's showing me signs that, okay, market makers may be bringing this even lower, but currently in price, we've been consolidating. We've been going back and forth ranging. So there's a buildup of sentiment of what the dollar is going to do. Is the dollar looking to gain strength and the bulls are going to take over or is the dollar looking to lose strength and the bears are going to take over? Well, looking at this, we can see that the opening price right now, price went above it and then gave a reaction lower. That's what we saw here, right there. And it's looking to find lower lows. If we go back to the chart, we can have this swing low on the monthly time frame that could be targeted as well. So one, two, three, that's sell side liquidity below this swing low. That is where there's orders residing, sell stop. So anybody that was buying has a protective stop loss below this low here. You also have a lower swing low all the way down here. 
the most recent one in price that we have. It's back down here. It's 2022 lows, as you can see, January 2022. That's the low there. Price could eventually find its way getting back down there. We do have this inefficiency here. That's quote unquote, I'm putting quotations around that, retail support. And then we have this quote unquote retail resistance. So price is right now boxed in. It's ranging back and forth. But eventually, it's going to break out of this consolidation. All markets start in a consolidation, and then it moves on to another phase. Whether that's going into consolidation, you get a little turtle soup action, and then we go into expansion, expansion, retracement, reversal. I can see the market is ranging, and I want to see the market get out of this range eventually. If we were to look at this for EU, we can see that we have a lot of potential to the upside. So you have all these swing highs. We have relatively equal highs as well here on the monthly chart. We also see that we have this busy buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency or fair value gap simply. Price could come back down into this and give a reaction higher. That's something that we have to look out for, but it could leave this open and not return back into it. I also noticed that price is making higher swing lows. So recently, this was our recent swing low here. So that swing low formed in 2022 of September. The next recent swing low or higher swing low that we have is right here. We have it in March 2023. And price is continue looking to take out previous monthly highs or swing highs. We can see as well, we took out this recent swing high in price action. So the fact that we took out a monthly swing high, I would like to see a higher swing low form. This low here, the previous month, I don't want to see it broken. I'd rather it be protected and price continue to run up higher taking out the previous monthly high right there. So I don't want price to get back up, get back down and take out May's low. I want to see price take out May's high. And that's the same thing that we're seeing here for the DXY, but inverse. So if you look at that here, I want to see price take out the low, not the high. If I'm suspecting lower price action, if you look at the DXY, from a weekly perspective, we just recently ran back into this up close candle. So I'm taking the largest up close before this decline here, right? Price also took out this low here and price is now recently returning back up into that last up close candle. So we got that as a classic ICT bearish order block. We have a swing high pending here. So once price comes down and takes out this previous weekly low, then I would feel more confident that the price action is most likely going to continue breaking lower. I don't want to see price take out this high here. If it takes out this high here, could be a turtle soup or a stop raid, and then price comes going lower, or it could just be price finding new footing to then go higher. Same thing looking at EU. So we have price coming back down into this last down close candle before this rally up back down into it then we can see price returning back to where it fell from so there's buy side up here that's that swing high buy stops are up here so anybody that was selling is in profit and they most likely have a stop loss above this high now price has a sibi above it here so that could also be a draw on price price could look to come back into that inefficiency and fill that on the weekly time frame we also have a purge on the previous weekly low here and then I want to see price revert back for this weekly candle back to the previous weekly high here. So we're creating a swing low formation on this bearish order block. Sorry, this bullish order block. So price trading down into it, creating that swing low, right? The retracement down into it and then price running back up higher. So it should look something like this, potentially. Not say I'm going to be right like that. That's what we would like to see. It may not follow suit perfectly like that, but we would like to see price move higher if you look at this as well so it's still the daily chart same thing that you saw for ipta i took price and broke it in half so we have this low point and this high point this is a premium right now from this range that we have for the previous month so i took may and going all the way into june i cut that range in half this was a bullish month as we can see price is now currently in a premium territory it's expensive so would price come back down at least to equilibrium? I think we should at least get back down to 50% to of this range here. That's what I would like to suspect. And then potentially even lower into a discount. And then that's when longs would probably accumulate and price dollar may go higher as well. If 
we look down to EU, we have the same thing here. I just don't have it up. We have that high back down here. So you can see this is last month. It clearly was a bearish month for May. Price traded all the way down. And now we can see that price recently broke a swing high. So this could be the start of the market looking to trend back higher. You can see here very lightly, these are all swing high formations I marked off here, 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 and here. If price is going to go higher, it's going to target the swing highs here. Now I'm just drawing that doesn't mean it's going to do exactly like that, but that's what I would suspect if price is showing us signs like, okay, we're going higher. But like I said, if this is a false break, then it's going to probably go lower. But in order for this not to be a false break, I want to see a higher swing low formation, just like that. And then price should come and take out this swing high and the pattern should repeat itself over and over and over again. Now, if you watch the daily draw video on my YouTube channel, you've noticed that that's how I find whether or not I'm going to be bullish or bearish within the next two weeks, first week, one week, couple days. That's how I find whether or not the next daily candle is going to go up or go down or the next week is going to go up or go down. Hopefully this was insightful. This is going to be a very exciting month. Last month we did UJ. We saw that it followed T to T. It was bullish. I wasn't able to finish out the rest of the month. I apologize for that. I had a lot of graduations to attend, had an anniversary with my significant other and their birthday as well. So hopefully you guys are still here with me. I really, truly support everybody in the channel. Any questions that you guys have, you can DM me. I try my best to get back to everybody. Sometimes I get a lot of messages and emails, but I'm trying my best. So hopefully this is insightful. Looking forward to tracking this pair for you guys for the rest of the month. Peace.